The role of the courts. The judiciary. Judges, collectively known as the judiciary, are responsible for interpreting the law and ensuring fair trials. The government cannot interfere with the judiciary's decisions. Judges can determine the legality of government actions and may order policy changes if they find actions to be illegal. Judges can also enforce individuals' legal rights and order changes in practices or compensation. Judges make decisions in disputes between individuals or organizations, such as those related to contracts, property, employment rights, or accidents. Criminal Courts England, Wales, and Northern Ireland use magistrates' courts for minor criminal cases, and Scotland uses Justice of the Peace Courts. Magistrates and Justices of the Peace are community members who decide verdicts and, if necessary, sentences for minor cases. Serious offences in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland are tried in Crown Courts, while Scotland uses Sheriff Courts and High Courts for such cases. A jury, composed of randomly chosen members of the public, decides verdicts of guilty or not guilty based on evidence presented in serious cases. In Scotland, a third verdict of a not proven is also possible, and the judge decides the penalty upon a guilty verdict. Youth courts handle cases involving individuals aged 10 to 17 in England, Wales, and Northern Ireland. In Scotland and Northern Ireland, Alternative systems are used for young offenders. Civil courts. County courts in England and Wales handle various civil disputes, including money owed, personal injury, family matters, contract breaches, and divorce. In Scotland, most civil matters are dealt with in the sheriff court, while more significant cases are heard in the court of session. The small claims procedure is an informal way to resolve minor disputes involving claims of less than £10,000 in England and Wales and £5,000 in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Solicitors provide legal advice, take legal actions on behalf of clients, and represent clients in court. It's important to choose a solicitor with expertise in the relevant area of law, and fees are usually based on the time spent on a case. Understanding these key points will help you prepare for questions related to the legal system and the role of the courts in the UK on the Life in the UK test. It's essential to have a basic knowledge of the legal and judicial processes in the UK. The Judiciary Judges, who are together called the judiciary, are responsible for interpreting the law and ensuring that trials are conducted fairly. The government cannot interfere with this. Sometimes the actions of the government are claimed to be illegal. If the judges agree, then the government must either change its policies or ask Parliament to change the law. If judges find that a public body is not respecting someone's legal rights, they can order that body to change its practices and or pay compensation. Judges also make decisions in disputes between members of the public or organizations. These might be about contracts property or employment rights or after an accident. Criminal courts. There are some differences between the court systems in England and Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Magistrates and Justice of the Peace Courts. In England, Wales and Northern Ireland, most minor criminal cases are dealt with in a magistrate's court. In Scotland, minor criminal offences go to a Justice of the Peace Court. Magistrates and Justices of the Peace, JPs, are members of the local community. In England, Wales and Scotland they usually work unpaid and do not need legal qualifications. They receive training to do the job and are supported by a legal advisor. Magistrates decide the verdict in each case that comes before them and, if the person is found guilty, the sentence that they are given. In Northern Ireland, Cases are heard by a district judge or deputy district judge, who is legally qualified and paid. Crown Courts and Sheriff Courts In England, Wales and Northern Ireland, serious offences are tried in front of a judge and a jury in a Crown Court. 
In Scotland, serious cases are heard in a sheriff court with either a sheriff or a sheriff with a jury. The most serious cases in Scotland, such as murder, are heard at a high court with a judge and jury. A jury is made up of members of the public chosen at random from the local electoral register. In England, Wales and Northern Ireland a jury has 12 members, and in Scotland a jury has 15 members. Everyone who is summoned to do jury service must do it unless they are not eligible, for example, because they have a criminal conviction, or they provide a good reason to be excused, such as ill health. The jury has to listen to the evidence presented at the trial and then decide a verdict of guilty or not guilty based on what they have heard. In Scotland, a third verdict of a not proven is also possible. If the jury finds a defendant guilty, the judge decides on the penalty. In England, Wales and Northern Ireland, if an accused person is aged 10 to 17, the case is normally heard in a youth court in front of up to three specially trained magistrates or a district judge. The most serious cases will go to the Crown Court. The parents or carers of the young person are expected to attend the hearing. Members of the public are not allowed in youth courts, and the name or photographs of the accused young person cannot be published in newspapers or used by the media. In Scotland a system called the Children's Hearing System is used to deal with children and young people who have committed an offence. Northern Ireland has a system of youth conferencing to consider how a child should be dealt with when they have committed an offence. County courts deal with a wide range of civil disputes. These include people trying to get back money that is owed to them, cases involving personal injury, family matters, breaches of contract, and divorce. In Scotland, most of these matters are dealt with in the sheriff court. More serious civil cases, for example, when a large amount of compensation is being claimed are dealt with in the High Court in England, Wales and Northern Ireland. In Scotland, they are dealt with in the Court of Session in Edinburgh. The small claims procedure is an informal way of helping people to settle minor disputes without spending a lot of time and money using a lawyer. This procedure is used for claims of less than £10,000 in England and Wales and £5,000 in Scotland and Northern Ireland. The hearing is held in front of a judge in an ordinary room, and people from both sides of the dispute sit around a table. Small claims can also be issued online through Money Claims Online. Legal Advice Solicitors Solicitors are trained lawyers who give advice on legal matters take action for their clients and represent their clients in court. There are solicitor's offices throughout the UK. It is important to find out which aspects of law a solicitor specialises in and to check that they have the right experience to help you with your case. Many advertise in local newspapers and in yellow pages. The Citizens Advice Bureau can give you names of local solicitors and which areas of law they specialise in. You can also get this information from the Law Society in England and Wales, the Law Society of Scotland or the Law Society of Northern Ireland. Solicitors' charges are usually based on how much time they spend on a case. It is very important to find out at the start how much a case is likely to cost.